Hey guys, so today I'm going to jump in with um, my Morgan Taylor collection. I don't have many of this, so let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be in no particular order, and don't mind this. I was just doing some artwork. Um, I loved Piggy Love has has a thing, and you can see in the middle there it says "I love you," where you do this, and then you outline your words in glow in the dark, and then it glows in the dark, and it's like a hidden message. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I just wanted to try something simple on a wheel here. It came out okay. Alright, first Morgan Taylor up is Snow Place Like Home. And this is just a beautiful white silver iridescent glitter. I'm pretty sure it's meant to um, be a top coat. But I'm going to do two, two coats here on its own. First coat. Now let me just show you the brush on these somewhere. Uh, can't get it to focus. It never wants to frickin' focus. They're nice, flat, real soft. The formula on this is really nice. Okay, next up we have something to blog about. And this is kind of like a purple, gray, dual chromy. Kind of goes back to Wet n Wild's Grey's Anatomy and Bar London's Knackered. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you first coat of something to blog about. Really nice formula. Okay. Next, it's kind of a recent purchase. And I think I forgot to haul it. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. This is called the Big Reveal. And this is like a blackened base with these tealy blue green glitters in it. Okay. First coat. The big reveal. And I'm not sure how long this polish itself is going to be available as I did get it at Cosmoprof in the clearance section. Oh, sorry guys, that was blurry and I didn't realize it. There's one coat of the big reveal. Okay, next is out with their holiday collection along with um, Snow Place Like Home. And that is called New Year, New Blue. And it's just a beautiful blue um, shimmer polish. It's beautiful. Okay. First coat. Beautiful. 
love it. So pretty. Another great formula. Uh, next is called Who's That Girl? And this is, and I, I wore this, so I should be able to insert a picture. This is hard to explain, kind of. It's real foily, and it's like a, some sort of a purple. <laughs> I can't describe the purple that it is. It's not a dark purple. It's kind of like a pinky lavender, maybe. Very pretty. Okay, let's show you a swatch. First coat, who's that girl? And it's kind of in like a blue, black, gray base. So it is one coat of who's that girl? Next is to rule or not to rule. Okay. And this is sort of reminiscent of like Essie's toggle to the top with these fuchsia purple glitters. Various sizes. And let's see how she swatches. And this looks to be like in the same color jelly base. So I got an okay formula. It's not it's not um the best. And then we have big long names. Sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Oh my. Don't understand why it's called that. I mean, I could see the sapphire, but I don't see the rubies or the emeralds. Because it looks like there's light purple, blue, and silver glitter in there. Yep. Let's give it a swatch. Looks to have a kind of a thick formula here. And again, it's in the same colored jelly base. Okay. So there's one coat of that. Emeralds, sapphires, rubies, emeralds. Oh my. Next. This is on the same type of um, <clears throat> category as Snow Place Like Calm. It's from the Cinderella collection, and if the slipper fits, and it's just a blue version, and except for iridescent glitters in here, it's a holographic. Okay, so let's get her swatched. First coat, if the slipper fits. Next, I don't know if this is like from Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. This is Fight Like a Lady. And this is just a really pretty white um, matte glitter. Purple, silver, holographic glitter mix. 
I'm just going to show you these guys on their own. I do have one more glitter coming up as well. Okay, so first swatch. First coat. A lot of glitter off the brush. I mean, you could see I swiped and it's still... And I'm thinking... If you guys wanted to wear this on its own, it'd probably be opaque in two coats. Maybe two coats with a sponging coat. No. Okay. This is my very first one. First Morgan Taylor. Had to have it. It's beautiful. Night sky in a bottle. Under the stars. And it really is. Just like a night sky in a bottle. Seems to be, and I've never worn it, blue jelly base with silver and holographic glitters. So, let's swatch. Okay, first coat, under the stars. And yeah, it is a, a dark blue jelly base. I'll tell you, you get a lot of glitter on the brush with these guys. Morgan Taylor's a very good polish brand. Um, I don't know where else you can get it other than Cosmoprof, though, um, and online. Lastly, and then we go for second coats, is Escargo to France. And this is kind of like from one of their newer collections. I don't know if it was for spring or summer. I think it came out like the beginning of May. But this has pink. You can see some mint green in there. Some silver holographic. White. And the only thing that's... um Looks like it has two shades of pink. Like that dark pink and then the light baby pink. Um, they're all matte except for the holographic glitters. Okay, so let's swatch it. And again, you get a ton of glitter on the brush. And it's not too much, um, you could see I'm not dabbing it or anything. I'm just swiping the brush. Okay, guys, let's do coat two. First one, Snow Place Like Home. And this actually kind of is opaque on the second coat. So I guess you could wear it as its own. I guess it's totally up to you guys. How you want to do. Or how you want to wear your polishes. Obviously. If you like that kind of look. You're going to wear it on its own. Okay. Second coat of something to blog about. did go a little thicker on that second coat. It's too much came out. Okay. Second coat of the big reveal. And now these glitters in certain lights they look teal green and in other lights they look blue. So Kind of like a shade shifter. Okay. Second coat. New year, new blue. New year, new blue could probably have been a one coater. Because it doesn't really seem like the second coat's done much for it. Okay. 
second coat of Who's That Girl. And at the end of this swatch, I will insert the picture. Um, granted, I uploaded it. I'm going to find it. So there's two coats of Who's That Girl. And here's the photo. Okay, on to to rule or not to rule. Second coat. Big long one. Sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Oh my. Second coat. Oh, my hand's in the way, guys. Sorry. You know, guys, this almost kind of looks purple in color. Instead of blue. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Okay. Two coats of If the Slipper Fits. Now look at how pretty that is already with just one coat. Two coats definitely makes it darker. Second coat of Fight Like a Lady. I definitely think this can be worn on its own. This is just so glitter packed and you know it seems like the base is just slightly tinted pink so that might be what's helping with it okay second coat of <clears throat> excuse me under the stars Anybody who loves to have a night sky on their nails needs to get this because this is so pretty. Okay, now second coat of escargot to France. could still see some of the nail wheel coming through. So you might want to use this as a topper or you could just do the three coats and it'll probably be opaque in three coats. So here they are up close and personal. It's no place like home. something to blog about and the um, the duo chrome shift is a lot more noticeable um, in person than on the camera here big reveal very pretty new year new blue and there's really nothing special to this blue it's reminiscent to me of Color Club's Williamsburg 
So it is very pretty. Here is Who's That Girl. And this is a little textury, so you will need a good top coat. I forgot the name of this. Sorry, guys. Uh -huh. To rule or not to rule. And this doesn't dry that chunky, but it does. So you still will need a, a good thick top coat. Okay, so that's to rule or not to rule. Sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Oh my. If the slipper fits. Fight like a girl. Starry night. Or under the stars. Uh, the base dries down a little bit more than the glitter, so you will need a good top coat on that also. And believe it or not, this glitter dries kind of pretty flat. Not as, I mean, you're still going to need a top coat, but not as chunky. And then we have Escargot to France. Okay guys, and since you haven't been giving me any feedback on what collections you want to see, I'm going to try something different here. Down in the comments box, I'm going to give you three options. You can tell me which one of the three you want to see next. Let me know in the comments. Um, should I show you Salon Perfect? Should I show you Nicole by OPI? Or should I show you... Um, my wet and wild wild shine collection so just let me know which one um what did i say now salon perfect nicole by opi or wet and wild wild shine um, let me know again down in the comment section Alright guys, that's about it for me today. Have a great day and as always, stay polished.